Well, the names are down in the illustrial career. You talk about people like Travis Collins, Becky Cole, Keith Urban, Liam Brew, Luke Austin, Luke Dickens. The name goes on of all these people, James Blundell, who've won Star Maker over the years. And we can now add to that another name. And the name is Karen Page. She was in the uh, in the finals, got through to the grand final, and uh, we're Blew glad to say... Away that she is the star maker for 2016 and I'm even more pleased to say that she joins us on the line from Western Australia live now. G'day Karen, how are you going? Congratulations, has it all sunk in yet? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, not quite, I don't think. It's just still been so hectic. I don't think I've ever been so busy in my life. <laughs> so, you know, just now we're running up and tying up all the loose ends and I still haven't had a chance to just sit back and and take it all in to be honest but um it's really good it's a great feeling and i'm super super excited and see for, from now on your your name's changed it's no longer is it karen page you are now star maker oh sorry toyota star maker karen page you've always got a <laughs> pretty name now. it's a pretty nice little name to have at the front <laughs> now Karen, a lot of people may not be aware that you'd already committed that you were moving to the east coast of Australia before um, anything happened with Star Maker. Yeah, so uh, my partner and I, who's also my guitarist, we travelled around Australia and toured, we gigged and wrote music for about nearly 18 months and once we got to the east coast, we were like, oh my goodness, there's just so much more going on over here. You know, like Perth is great itself and um, there are little areas of WA that are super activated, but, you know, the drive between towns is massive. And so we just sort of made this decision that if we're going to try and build our fan base and, and really give this a good crack, then we need to be up on the east coast as much as possible. And we sort of decided that we'd base ourselves sort of between the two places because we don't want to obviously lose contact with everything here in WA because, mm. you know, there is quite a lot going on too. So, yeah, we're going to have ourselves based over there and, and over here too, so it's going to be pretty hectic. <laughs> and I like the way you say based because you've got a very, very busy year ahead of you, so you are going to need yeah. like a little base because you're going to be doing a lot of travelling over the next 12 months. That's it, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, we've decided that it's going to be Byron Bay so that when we do get a chance to come home, it's somewhere that we're just in love with. <laughs> so, how would you describe Karen Page's music as such? Because we had a, we've only seen you a couple of times and they're only brief because I'll tell you what, you just run out of time down at Tamworth to see everything and everything where you do. And I, to me, the, the song that you were singing, I can't remember what it was now, but you had a folky side, a country folk side to yourself. Is that something that comes out in Karen Page's music? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, I kind of started out probably as more of a folk artist and kind of ended up moving into country a little bit more, introducing the harmonica and, and you know, we had lap steel and stuff on the first EP and, and then when I was playing as a five-piece band, it kind of allowed us to sort of, you know, get the sound a little bit, you know, bigger, I guess. So, uh, you know, with folk, it's it's easy to kind of be put in that category when it's, a singer-songwriter playing guitar and, and telling a story, but once you sort of introduce those, like the more instruments than uh, those stories, then can kind of turn into more of a different genre, you know. So definitely a folk element to it, but I think you know it's 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 got that rootsy bluesy kind of undertone as well. And um, very multi-talented on the instruments. You know, we talk to people and they'll say, oh, we saw Karen, she was playing the guitar. Oh, no, we saw Karen, she was playing piano. Saw Karen, she was playing harmonica. How many instruments <laughs> do you play? That's pretty much it. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I, I don't know. I kind of dabble in a few. I, I always, when I have an idea for a song, if I hear an instrument that I'd like on there, I just kind of, you know, try and work out how to play that. So I don't know all the instruments in and out, I definitely wouldn't be able to be a session person going out there and playing for another band. But yeah, I, I, I do know my way around a keyboard and a guitar, which means I can kind of get onto any instrument, really. Have you uh, taken down the opportunity of learning the ukulele like everyone's doing? <laughs> I do know how to play the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's another one. I knew there'd there's be more. There's another one in there. <laughs> now, well, it... the ukulele was great while we were travelling, you know, because... Sometimes if the guitars were like, you know, in the caravan and we were just with the car, like the ukulele was little and small and compact and easy to just sort of take along, you know. <laughs> 
So if you had an objective for 2016, um, coming out the other end of, of Star Maker, what would it be? You mean after the competition's over? Yeah, what would you I hope to... Ad- no, what would you have... No, what, for the end of this year, what would you hope Ooh, to look back and say, what have you... What have you hoped to achieve as a result of you winning Star Maker? Uh, what, what are some of the objectives you hope to get out of, you know, winning sure. the award? Well, I guess even before going into this competition, I kind of had already made a bit of a plan for myself for the next two or three years, and that was to tour as much as possible, build our fan base, um, you know, be able to play as much as we can in, in places that we haven't played before, and um, and obviously record an album because we'd written so much while whilst we were on the road and have a lot of material sort of ready to go. So I was hoping to do that nationally and then eventually internationally in, in that sort of space of two to three years. And it looks like now with Star Maker, I'm going to be kind of achieving mm-hmm. those goals in the next 12 months. So I think coming out of those 12 months, I just hope that I have left enough of an impression that when I go to release an album after the because I released three songs with the Toyota Star Maker so hopefully um, shortly after that I'll be able to release a full length album and just continue to tour and live the dream really Well we certainly look forward to following your dream and following particularly in this next 12 months we had the finals on Sunday the 17th the Toyota Star Maker Grand Finals on Friday the 22nd which announced Karen as Karen Page as the new Toyota Star Maker you walked the red carpet on Saturday the 23rd at the GG's and I'll tell you what you just floated down that red carpet it was like this girl is still on cloud nine it was beautiful to watch you and the smile I don't think we could take that off your face I think you're still actually wearing it right now but I think the probably one of the biggest uh, compliments that um, I've heard so far for Karen Page yourself is a couple of um, country music fans and I can tell you they are the best supporters in Australia and I'm talking about Glenda and Brendan Desh and I'm not sure if you've met, personally met them yet uh, I, d- I met them at the McClymont's gig actually oh yeah. there you go well you know they are so proud of yourself and they reckon that you're going to be you're going to be the best ambassador for Star Makers so that's, re- that's really nice to hear that from a fan we just want to let you know they said hello to you tonight as well and you've already got a oh, fan base great. building Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, that means a lot to me, you know, like at the end of the day, you know, music is, you know, that vehicle for you to connect with people, but it's always beautiful to to kind of know that you haven't just connected through your music, but as a person, you've left an impression on someone, you know, because at the end of the day, music is just one part of me. and, And that's one thing that I found throughout this festival is everyone you know, was complimenting me just on my personality and being happy and bubbly. And I thought that's that's so nice to be recognised for that, you know, because I, I place a really big importance on being a positive person and, mm. and happy and it's nice to, to know that people notice it. <laughs> and it's nice to spread the happiness around. Well, Karen Page, thank you very much for joining us tonight. A song that you sang at the Star Maker is Little Sally. We've got it here mm-hmm. with us right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, all our listeners out there in Radio World, here is the Toyota 2016 Star Maker winner, Karen Page and Little Sally. Thanks, Karen. Thank you. Thanks for having me.